Hey, it's Laura from OurEarlyHouse.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a black drawing salve. This salve is actually an old medicinal practice that has been used for many, many years. And the reason why it's called a black salve is because we're going to be adding in some activated charcoal. Now, if you've ever used activated charcoal for anything, you know that it is very black and it's a big mess. I like to keep activated charcoal on hand. I keep this away from my kids so they can't get into it. Now, activated charcoal can actually help pull toxins and poisons and draw things out of the skin. So obviously it can draw skin irritations out of the skin like splinters, bee stings. And so that's why it's definitely one of the things that I wanna put into this drawing salve. Now I'm also gonna be making an herb infused olive oil for the base of the salve. And I'm gonna be doing that with some loose leaf plantain and comfrey tea. So we're gonna start off by doing that. It's actually very simple to do. We are going to use a double boiler. Now mine is a little bit waxy because I just got finished making some wax candle melts. And so I cleaned it out a little bit, but I didn't get too in detail to clean it out because wax is kind of difficult to clean out. And I'm gonna be putting some more beeswax in here. So I figured I'll just clean it when I'm done. To start off, we're gonna add five tablespoons to, if you have a double boiler, you can use that or just a glass bowl over a pot of water, either way is fine. And then I'm gonna put in a tablespoon each of the plantain and the comfrey leaf, loose leaf tea. Going to let this simmer here for about 30 minutes on medium to low heat or until my oil is getting dark. And then I'm just going to strain the herbs out and that's going to be my herb infused oil that I'm gonna use for my recipe. Okay, so I think it's about done. I'm just going to remove this the handiness of wearing an apron. <laughs> you can use a really small strainer if you have that or a cheesecloth to just drain the herbs off of the oil. And then we're just going to kind of wipe this out and we're gonna continue putting our ingredients in here. Okay, so now I'm just going to pour that herb infused olive oil back into my container here. Then I'm just going to add in two tablespoons of clay and there's a couple different options of this that you can use. I have them both linked down in the description below. Two teaspoons of beeswax. And then we are going to put this back on the heat again and melt these ingredients before adding in the activated charcoal and a few different essential oils. Okay, so that stuff is all melted together. So just to recap, we just have the herb infused olive oil, which if you don't wanna make that, I actually found one that's very similar that I can link below. Then we have the clay and the beeswax. So that's all melted together. And now we're just going to whisk in the activated charcoal and I'm doing one tablespoon of that. And then we're gonna add in some essential oils. Now I picked out five different essential oils that are really good for skin irritations, for redness, and just cleansing and purifying. Clove, lavender, basil, melaleuca, and frankincense. So you can do a mixture of oils, you can do one oil. I'm going to do five of each of these, so that's gonna be 25 drops total. So if you prefer to do, you know, just 25 drops of one of these, that's fine. Over on the blog, I list all these out and kind of talk about why I'm using each one. So I'm gonna add in my essential oils. Now be sure that you let your mixture cool a little bit before adding in your activated charcoal and your essential oils because we don't want to lose any of the benefits of these things. I just pour 
poured mine into a small little mason jar. You can also put it in those little metal tins. I will link all of this stuff down in the description below so you know where to get everything from. And we are just going to let this sit. It will harden and then whenever you want to apply it, you can just put it a little bit onto your finger and rub it onto the area of concern. And like I said before, it will stain your skin, um, not forever, just temporarily with that black color and it is quite a mess. Now, if you're ever in a situation where you don't have any of these ingredients and you need something fast, you can just mix some activated charcoal with a little bit of water and make a paste and rub that onto the skin as well. If you guys are looking for some more natural skincare product, I have an ebook with a few of my favorite things linked down in the description below. I also have a free essential oil class where I talk all about how we use essential oils in our home. And there's a link for that down in the description as well. And if this is your first time by my channel, I'd love to hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every single week on essential oil education, natural remedies, and healthy recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by our oily house.